Welcome to my channel's Striker 24x7. Subscribe to my channel for notifications and updates. In this video tutorial, I'm going to guide you how to do scratch installation of VC dial in set OS 7 and asterisk 13. Installation steps I have split the installation steps into five parts. Part 1 Cent OS 7 Installation. Part 2 Prerequisites installations like OS update, installing Apache, MySQL or MariaDB, PHP, Perl modules, etc. Part 3 Installing asterisk Dottie and libpri Part 4 Installing VC dial. Part 5 VC dial post installation initial or basic settings, which is required before moving the VC dial into production. Part 1 OS installation. If you have already installed the OS, you may skip the part 1 and move on to part 2 video. Download the latest CentOS from CentOS official website mentioned here. Boot the server with CentOS image, either with bootable DVD or bootable USB drive. If you are installing and hosted server, either server will be pre installed with OS. You may jump to part 2 video, if not you can use the IPK VM to boot the server remotely. Let's jump to my VMware workstation, and finish the part 1 OS installation. Once the server boots up, select the, install sent OS 7 and press enter. Again press enter to begin the installation process. Wait for few minutes to finish the initial process. In the welcome page, select the language you prefer. Once done, click continue. In the installation summary page, select date and time, and select your time zone. Select your keyboard language, OS language. Then click, software selection, and select minimal install. Next click the installation source, make sure, auto detected installation media select Next click the installation destination. Select your hard disk and make sure, automatic configure partition select Next click, network and host select your ethernet port and enable. And click configure to set, static IP. Enter your, IPv4 address. Enter your, subnet. Enter your, gateway. Enter your, DNS IP, if not sure, enter the public DNS 8.8.8.8. .8 .8. Click save. Now enter a, hostname. Finally click, begin installation. In meanwhile, set the root password, enter a strong password. If you want another user to access the server apart from root, click user creation, enter full name, username, and a strong password. The installation process will be take more time, based on your RAM and CPU the time might differ. I recommend to have a cup of coffee during this installation time. I am fast forwarding this video. Once the installation completed, remove the bootable DVD or USB drive, and click reboot. Once the server boots up, SSH to the server using the software PuT, and enter the server IP. Log in with your root credentials. Thanks for watching. Follow part 2 video.